Comparing the Bichon Frise versus Poodle for your next cuddly canine companion? Both of these pups are fluffy bundles of joy, but they have different personalities and aren't the perfect fit for every family. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Bichon Frise vs. Poodle. Breed differences and similarities appearance While they share similar appearance traits, both breeds have some distinct differences. Both dogs show striking similarities in appearance. They both look like tiny fluffy teddy bears, but with keen observation, you may notice differences. In fact, both breeds share appearance traits with other small dogs and are often compared to them as a result. The main difference between the two breeds is size. While poodles differ in size, Bichon Frises are consistently small. They measure close to a miniature poodle size, reaching 9 to 12 inches tall and weighing 12 to 18 pounds. Toy poodles typically average in about 10 inches tall and weigh under 9 pounds. Standard-sized poodles are the largest, weighing between 40 to 75 pounds and reaching an average height of 15 inches or higher. Bichon Frise is most commonly white and comes in cream, apricot, or gray similar to poodles' coat colorings. Poodles tend to have more variety in color, such as blue, apricot, black, white, gray, silver, brown, café au lait, and cream. Both breeds are easily identifiable by their floppy ears, curly coats, and pointed muzzles. Temperament. Both dog breeds make excellent family companion dogs. Both dogs are commonly known as playful breeds. While they're both rather energetic dogs, they also love to be the center of attention, making them easy to train in many ways. Poodles are fun-loving and active, and Bichon Frises have a sweet, happy nature that makes them both so appealing for families. When it comes to temperament, there aren't any significant differences between the two breeds. However, something important to note is how differing sizes can affect the character. More specifically, if you have a family with small children, you may want to go with a poodle. A Bichon Frise is very sensitive and can sometimes get their feelings hurt if mishandled. They are excellent family dogs, but they're also small and fragile. This means they might not be the best fit for a family with toddlers or kids who are rough. Exercise. Both these pups require at least an hour of exercise per day. Whether you choose a standard poodle or a tiny little Bichon Frise, both breeds love exercise and a lot of it. Typically, both dog breeds require at least 60 minutes of exercise each day. These two breeds crave an active lifestyle and require daily activities, such as fetch games, brain-stimulating toys, or the occasional walk. Since Bichon Frises are smaller, they tend to tire out more quickly. On the other hand, poodles are a bit more restless and enjoy long walks around the park. The last thing you want is a frustrated dog to take out its pent-up energy on your furniture. That's why you must make sure you can give your dog the necessary daily exercise to keep them both happy and in shape. Training. Both dog breeds are relatively easy to train with the poodle being slightly easier. While both breeds are relatively easy to train, poodles are easier to train than Bichon Frises. This can make them slightly more favorable for families with a more limited amount of training time available. Poodles are known to be intelligent dogs and more than willing to please their owner. Due to their athletic build, they're capable of learning new skills and tricks. They're friendly dogs that enjoy being around other animals or humans rather than themselves. 
Their curiosity and eagerness make them easy to train and means they tend to get distracted easily. When training a poodle, make sure you make the training process fun and exciting for them. On the other hand, a Bichon Frise is more difficult to train especially when it comes to house training. They're highly trainable dogs outside the home, but they're rather stubborn and difficult to deal with when it comes to housebreaking. We'd recommend you crate train during housebreaking. Make sure if you adopt a poodle, you pick the right sized dog crate. A combination of patience, consistency, and positive support is necessary for a well-balanced dog. Health. Before buying a new pet, there are always health factors you must consider. Both breeds are generally healthy, but there are still some things from both breeds you should be aware of. As with most dogs, there are certain genetic diseases associated with both dog breeds. Both breeds are susceptible to eye problems, primarily due to the overhanging hair covering their eyes. Because of this, it's recommended owners keep the hair trimmed and away from the eye area to prevent infection or irritation. They're also both prone to joint issues, specifically at the hip, elbow, and knee. As they get older, poodles are prone to various other diseases, including epilepsy, progressive retinal atrophy, thyroid issues, Addison's disease, hypoglycemia, and bloat. Bloating is the most common, so be sure to buy high-quality dry food for your poodle. Likewise, Bichon Frises may succumb to other diseases, hemophilia, heart defects, leg calve Perth's disease, bladder infections, ear infections, and Cartagener's syndrome. However, a reputable breeder will screen a puppy for health risks before selling, so you should end up with a healthy dog. Nutrition. A Bichon Frise's diet should consist of whole grains, such as barley, quinoa, or brown rice. When finding the proper kibble for your dog, look for foods that contain vegetable and fish oils as healthy sources of fats and omega-3 fatty acids. These foods are easy to digest and will help maintain their health. Since Bichon Frise's are also much smaller than poodles, they only need one half to one cup per day divided into two meals. On the other hand, poodles have much higher energy and require two to three cups per day divided into two meals. A poodle's dog food should contain a healthy balance of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, grains, vegetables, vitamins, and minerals. Ensuring your poodle stays active and maintains a healthy diet is all that's needed to guarantee a healthy, happy life for your furry companion. Grooming. Both dog breeds have similar grooming needs and shedding frequencies. For both breeds, grooming ranks number one on the list of necessities. Both breeds are primarily known for their coarse, wiry, and curly hair. Because of their lower shedding coats, poodles are popular parents of many different hybrids. A poodle should receive professional grooming every three to six weeks, whereas you should groom a Bichon Frise every one to three weeks. Both breeds require regular maintenance brushing to rid the hair of any dirt, debris, or trapped hair. Due to the high maintenance that comes with grooming, many poodle owners choose to groom their pup by clipping or shaving their dog's hair with grooming clippers. This tip isn't for added style, but rather, agility. It also helps cut back on grooming costs. Healthy grooming habits for a Bichon Frise should be established at a young age, such as routine brushing and bathing every one to two weeks. Poodles should be bathed every two to three weeks. Since both breeds suffer from sensitive skin, you should use a gentle, organic hypoallergenic shampoo for both dogs. Puppy prices. The price difference between the breeds can be significant. While the average price for a Bichon Frise puppy starts at around $1,000, a poodle puppy generally costs $1,200. For an older, high-end poodle, prices can range anywhere from $1,400 to $10,000. Several factors go into determining the price of a poodle, such as coat color, origin, and size. A standard poodle averages around $1,000 to $1,200. Both toy and miniature poodles are more expensive, averaging between $1,200 to $1,500.
Bichon Frises have a more comprehensive price range. A puppy's cost can start at $800 and end up at $2,500, with a median of $1,000. Several aspects factor into their price, such as breeder reputation and parental history. A breeder with a high reputation can tack on an extra few hundred dollars, and pups of high-end Bichon Frises can cost up to $1,500. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.